Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Now I'm going to show you a few different ways to burn a CD out of iTunes. First thing you need to do is to make a playlist. iTunes only lets you burn playlists. They can be regular playlists or smart playlists, but that's a topic for a different video. So anyway, you'll see I've got a playlist here called Mother, and it includes all the songs I have that have mom, mother, or mama in the title. So I can control click on here on the name of the playlist and pick burn playlist to disk. Or I could also find that up in the file menu, burn playlist to disk. When you choose that, you'll see this burn settings window and you've got three basic options. You can burn an audio CD which will make a CD just like a music CD you'll buy at a store, or an MP3 CD, or a data CD. Really briefly, the difference is an audio CD will play almost anywhere in almost any CD player. An MP3 CD won't play in as many players, but you'll be able to squeeze more music onto the CD. And a data CD probably will play in even fewer players uh, the only reason to burn one of these is um, for doing backups. So let's pick the MP3 CD right now. Then you click Burn, and then pop in your blank CD-ROM. You'll see up here it says, please insert a blank disk. And once it recognizes it, it will start burning it. Here it's spinning up now. You can see it's spinning over here. Oh, and now it tells me some of the files cannot be burned to an MP3 CD. Do you still want to burn the remainder? And if I want to find out why, I can click here. Oh, it's because some of the files aren't in MP3 format. Okay, well, I can go look at that later. Let me just click OK, and I'll get the other songs. So now it'll take a few minutes burning that disk. Now you can see it writing the name of each song here. Also, you'll notice the songs that it couldn't burn because they weren't in the right format, it has grayed out and unchecked. I'll come back in a second when it's almost done. Now it's finishing the process. And there's the sound that it's done. And you'll see then what it does is over on the left side here under devices it shows the disk that it has named Mother, which was the name of the playlist, and it shows the songs that it was able to burn on there. And now to eject the CD to go play it in the car or somewhere else, I can just click the eject button right here. And I've got a freshly burned CD that I can go pop in any CD player that knows how to read an MP3 CD.